Hi, this is Naomi with the Top Shelf VA TV, your place for creativity and inspiration for business and life. Recently, Rama Saba asked, would you please make a tutorial on how to insert a clock picture in a video to indicate timer as used nowadays in many cooking videos. I'm happy to provide this tutorial, Rama, and for those who are new viewers, feel free to subscribe to the channel and request a tutorial. I'm always happy to answer my subscribers' requests for tutorials. So let's begin. The first step we'll take is to find a countdown timer on the internet that we like and record it. I provided the links to these sites in the description below. First, let's prepare to record. Click on Record the Screen button. Now here are the two sites that I like. The first is OnlineStopwatch.com. As you can see, it is a simple site with two choices, either a stopwatch or a countdown timer. The second site, which we will be using for this tutorial, is iPadStopwatch.com. They have some other choices to choose from, a stopwatch, a clock, and a countdown timer. They also have a quick set time of common times needed for timers. For this video, we'll select the 5 minute timer. The reason we are choosing 5 minutes is because we can do one recording and then easily adjust the video for the actual amount of time needed according to the video we will be using it for in the future. Let's set the clock to be full screen, which will give us more freedom later to adjust the size and keep the visual quality of the clock. On our recorder, let's record at full screen and turn off the audio. We really don't need the audio. Then click on record or press F9 to start the recording. Click on Start to start the timer and record all the way down to zero. To stop the recording, click on the Stop button or F10 to stop the recording. Click on Save and Edit and save the T-Rec file on your hard drive where you will be able to find it. Now Camtasia will save the file and take you immediately into the editor. Once you are in the editor, add the recording to your timeline by right-clicking on the recording and selecting Add to Timeline at Playhead. Move the playhead to the right until you have 454. This is because the number 4 is the widest number and we are about to crop the video down to size. Now click on the crop tool or use your hotkey by holding down your alt key which will turn the white bounding lines to blue. Crop the video on all four sides up to the numbers 4 and leaving a little room on all four sides. Then move the playhead to the 5 minute mark and about 1 second before that, holding the green scrubber button down, move it all the way to the left to select the unneeded portion of the video. Click on the cut button or your hotkeys, Ctrl and X, to remove that portion of the video. Move your playhead to the end of the video right at the zero mark in about one second over and holding the red scrubber button down, move it all the way to the right to select the unneeded portion of the video. Click on the cut button or your hotkey, Ctrl plus X, to remove that portion of the video. Now as you can see there's not quite enough white space around the timer because of the close crop, so I'm going to add Add a little bit more to it by adding a white border. Click on Visual Properties, then on Border. Click on the drop-down arrow next to Color and click on Select Color. I like to use the Select Color tool to ensure I'm getting the same exact white as shown in the timer. Put the eyedropper over a white area and click on it. Then move the thickness slider all the way to the right and if you want you can click on the up arrow to increase the thickness even more. Now we cannot add this right away to the library as in my experience Camtasia does not keep the cropping adjustments we just did. So we have to do a little trick. In the upcoming section I'll show you what happens if we add the single trek file and why it doesn't work. To ensure we keep all of our adjustments, make sure your playhead is at the beginning and the timer is highlighted. Then copy the first timer and paste the second timer right above it so that you have two timers. You do this by clicking on the copy and paste buttons or Ctrl and C for copy and Ctrl and V for paste. Highlight both timers then right click and select group or use your hotkey Ctrl and G to group after highlighting both. You can expand the group and remove one of the timers as it's really not needed. I'll name the group Countdown Timer 5 Minute. Right click on the group and click on Add Asset to Library. Now your timer is in your library ready for you to use at any time. Let's take a quick look at how to use it with a video. Put your playhead at the beginning where you want your timer to start. Click on the library and then right click on your timer and click on Add to Timeline at Playhead. <gasps> oh no! What happened? Ah. 
Remember how I mentioned if you added the single track file directly to the library, it wouldn't save any of your cropping changes? This is why we went through the exercise of grouping and making an asset called Countdown Timer 5 Minutes. Now let's right click on that and select Add to Timeline at Playhead. There we go. Now we only want one minute, so we'll move the playhead to that spot and then split the timer there. Delete the first portion of the timer and move the one minute to the beginning. Then we'll move the playhead back over the video and timer. So let's highlight the timer and move it to the location we would like it on the video and then adjust the size. If we wanted to add a drop shadow to the timer, we simply open the group, click on the timer, then click on Visual Properties. Then click on Drop Shadow and adjust the settings as needed. If we wanted to, we could also change the border color and size. There you have it, an easy way to add a countdown timer to your Camtasia library to have at your fingertips to adjust as needed. Thanks Rama for asking the question and requesting a tutorial. I hope everyone found this video on adding a countdown timer clock to your videos in Camtasia helpful. If you have a question and would like me to create a tutorial video for you, simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. I'll be happy to add it to my list of training videos that are coming up in the near future. And feel free to share this video and channel with others. It definitely would be much appreciated as I keep growing the channel. As always, this is Naomi with TopShelfVA.com. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.